Good morning, everyone. Well, my goodness me, it is no rest for the wicked this week. I literally got back from the south of France quite late last night and I am straight up bright and early today because I actually have a really, really exciting day and I'm so glad that my calendar's aligned for this because this is something that I've wanted to attend for so, so long and the fact that I literally got back from France the night before and was able to make it today. I feel like it's just the universe coming together. So as you can see, I'm wearing one of my favorite dresses from one of my favorite brands. Colin Cooper. And I'm so excited because today I'm actually going to be attending the Burley Horse Trials with Holland Cooper, which is an absolute dream come true because I've not actually met the girls from Holland Cooper yet. Obviously, we've spoken so much online over like emails and messages and things like that. And all of the girls just seem so, so lovely. So I'm really excited to put faces to names is that the right saying put faces to names today meet the team and just have the loveliest day from the looks of it i believe it's being called the defender burley horse trial so i have a feeling it is sponsored by defender this year which is very very exciting because that is alex's dream car we've got a gorgeous range rover on the drive which i am more than happy with i feel like a range rover is just the perfect car but he's always said that one day he would love to upgrade it to the new defender that looks like really utilitarian which i must admit is really really cool although it is the funniest thing whenever you see me getting in and out of the car because i'm such a small person it is such a leap up for me so i'm really worried about what it would be in a defender because they're like even taller and even bigger but yeah, it looks like it's being sponsored by Defender, which I think is going to be really, really cool. But I have been very, very kindly invited to attend with Holland Cooper, which means I get to go in Jade Holland Cooper's is it box do they call it to be able to watch the horse trials which is so so cool i'm really really excited about it i don't know the most amount about like horse racing and things like that but it's something i'm really really interested in and would love to learn more and i feel like today is the perfect day for that in terms of weather wise it's a little bit gray today i won't lie it is kind of weird coming back and feeling like I've hit autumn. I do kind of feel like this is like the start of autumn and I can really feel it in the weather. I won't lie. The second me and Alex walked into the house last night, we were like, it feels a little bit chilly in the house. Like we put jumpers on. And I was like, I've not worn a jumper in like months. So it was a little bit odd, but it really does feel like this is like the beginning of autumn. I feel like this is kind of like my first autumnal event of the season, but I'm really, really excited about it. They've actually sent me a few bits that I need to unbox with you because this coat oh my goodness me this is the first thing that they've sent from the new collection which is absolutely beautiful i believe it's called the grayson trench and it is such a gorgeous like camel biscuity color so actually it's probably a good thing that it's feeling a little bit autumnal otherwise i would get a little bit hot in this coat but this is what i'm going to be wearing today and i'm so so excited because it's like such a gorgeous like quilted fabric it feels so soft and i feel like this is going to be like my dream autumnal coat but we also have a few things down here to unbox so let's get into the boxes i need to style up what i'm gonna wear today and then we can head up to the burly horse trials and the grace and trench is the first thing i have it to style up today they actually do this trench in two different colors they've got this gorgeous little, like camely color and then they also do i believe in a black i will leave a link to all of like the holland cooper coats down below because they have so many gorgeous coats some really really stunning pieces to kind of like upgrade your autumn wardrobe and just really give you those like staple pieces the kind of things that are going to last in your wardrobe forever like this is a coat that i feel like is completely ageless and you know i talk about ageless fashion all the time but i feel like you guys are on the same wavelength as me when it comes to ageless fashion we want to make sure that when we're adding pieces into our wardrobe we're going to be able to wear them no matter what age we are no matter what point in life we are and i'm just so in love with this coat i love the details as well it's got these gorgeous little like um cuffs i think i need to take the sticker off which is the most satisfying thing ever. But look at the little Holland Cooper logo. And then also, this I think is my favorite detail. It's got a Holland Cooper on the cuff. Like, look at that on the collar. Sorry. Oh my goodness me. That is so, so cute. So, because we're styling this up today, I'm going to go along a bit more of like a kind of like warm caramel autumn theme with my outfit. So, the first thing I want to unbox is the thing I have been most, most excited for. My goodness me. This is a new handbag. And I think it might be safe to say this is my dream autumnal handbag. Like, this is all that I need in my wardrobe for autumn i've been eyeing this bag up on holland cooper's website 
for such a long time so i'm so so excited to unbox it and to be able to style it up for the defender burley horse trials today oh my goodness me the packaging is always just so so stunning and all of the bags of course come in a little dust bag and i do just love the holland cooper branding like the logo the kind of color scheme the like dark green it's just absolutely gorgeous it always just feels like such a luxury to unbox with this bag oh my goodness me how beautiful is she now i've got my other holland cooper bag and i have actually worn that so so much throughout summer i've reached fit for it I've reached for it time and time again, especially when I want to kind of like elevate a summer outfit. And I feel like it's just so lovely to have more like seasonal bags that you want to reach for when you're coming into different seasons that kind of like really feel like they're reflective of the kind of like transition you're in. And I do feel like this is the perfect bag to transition me into autumn. So as you can see, it's this really, really gorgeous canvas bag with this kind of tan leather detailing. So it says on it, Holland Cuba and I do feel like it's a really really lovely branding like it's nothing too like garish like it's not these kind of like big monogrammed bags it's just like really really classy and of course we've got the classic Holland Cooper logo there which is so so stunning and the size of it is beautiful it's something I kind of realized recently it was when I got my Demelier bag and I felt like I don't know if you've noticed with regards to the new bags I've been adding into my wardrobe this year. They've all been a little bit bigger than my older bags. Now, I love a cute little pan bag. I love something that can go crossbody, that I can just wear and, like, literally just shove my phone and keys in. But I definitely noticed I was missing some more, like, practical handbags that have a little bit more room in them that I can feel a little bit more. And they're just kind of, like, a bit more... What's the word? I don't just want to say practical, but they are still beautiful, but they're a little bit more, I'm going to have to say practical. They're more practical because I can fill more in them. And especially for things like day trips, I've been going into London or going somewhere like the Burley Horse Trials, where I'm going to want to have a little bit more stuff with me. This is like the perfect size handbag. And because I'm quite a small person, I never like to go too big with my handbags. Like I do feel like I look like I'm going to school if I go for like a massive tote bag that can fit like my laptop in and stuff. So I feel like this is just the perfect size I'm going to be able to fit in at my iPad, my camera, maybe even like a water bottle, some snacks if I need to, like top ups of makeup. I feel like this is just going to fit everything that I need. I also feel like this is like a perfect mama's bag. Like you can fit in your nappies in there. You can fit in like things for the kids. I do feel like as I'm getting older, I'm falling more and more in love with like larger handbags because I can just fit a lot more in them and they are so much more practical. But oh my goodness me, this is the most beautiful handbag for autumn. I need to take all of the, um, the packaging off because, oh, she is just beautiful. Oh my goodness me, I just love her even more. I didn't even realize she had this stunning little keychain, which you can actually take off and you can even like put on your keys if you want. You could gift that to someone. I think that's so, so lovely. I might actually add that to my keys because I think that is absolutely beautiful. Um, but I'm just so in love with the like leather detailing to it. I do feel like leather handles are just so practical and you know how much I love tan for autumn, winter. I feel like it's just the perfect color and especially paired with black like white black and tan oh it's just such a gorgeous color combo i feel like i have just spent the last like 15 minutes gushing over this handbag but she really is my dream autumn handbag and i can't wait to style her up and wear her today next up we have a new pair of shoes and i have a feeling you guys are going to love these because i feel like this time of year is so tricky when it comes to shoe styling and knowing what to wear because it's not quite warm enough to still be in like our slides and still be wearing our really like summery sandals. It's not quite cold enough to go for like full on boots. But I'm not the biggest trainer girl. I really like to have some like beautiful pairs of shoes that aren't necessarily trainers in my collection. And I feel like this kind of fills that gap for me. You know when I say when it comes to adding things into your wardrobe, got another dust bag there. Love the green dust bags. But when it comes to adding things into your wardrobe, you are either replacing something, upgrading something, or filling a gap. And I do feel like these are filling a real gap in my wardrobe and how beautiful are they. They're this gorgeous pair of like open back loafers and I really have discovered my love for open back loafers recently. I just feel like they're such a classic shoe and you can style these up with so many different outfits. Like you can wear them with trousers, you can wear them with leggings, you can wear them with dresses. Like I feel like they're really, really easy to style and they literally feel like slippers. I feel 
second and that's my favorite thing about them like it feels like you're wearing the house and slippers but they look so elevated and so upgraded and i really really love them so again we've got this gorgeous tan color which matches the bag perfectly and you know how much i love a matchy matchy moment when it comes to wearing an outfit i always want my shoes and my bag to match there's nothing worse than when you add some tan color pieces into your wardrobe and they're all like different shades of tan so it's really nice to be able to like buy a pair of shoes and a bag from the same place because it means that the tans are going to be the exact same color which excites me so so much so again we've got the gorgeous little holland cooper um logo there which i think is so so lovely but other than that they're like really really minimal which i think is gorgeous because they're not too like garish they're not too out there and they're just like a super cash pair of shoes so this is my shoe option for the day and i'm so happy with how well they go with the bag now the last new in piece from holland cooper i don't actually think i'm going to wear today i think i'm going to stick to the gorgeous little shirt dress because it's just not quite cold enough for this but if you are looking to upgrade your autumn wardrobe and add in a few pieces that again are perfect for the transitional period you are going to be really really excited about these pieces from holland cooper because they have them in so many different colors and it's their gorgeous little turtlenecks now this is actually a sleeveless turtleneck which i just think is so so perfect for autumn because you know when you want to kind of start incorporating those like autumnal vibes you're really really wanting to get a little bit cozy but you still want to have arms out it's still not quite cold enough for like a full-on knit and i do feel like if it was a few degrees colder i probably would have worn this today but i just think it's not quite cold enough and especially if i'm not going to want to be wearing the coat today I'm going to want to wear something a little bit lighter underneath. So I feel like the shirt dress is perfect. But oh my goodness me, this turtleneck is just so, so gorgeous. So as I said, they have them in a few different colours. I believe they do white... They definitely do come on. I think they have a couple of other colours, so I will leave them all linked down below for you guys. But just look at the detailing on this. They're like gold buttons, and they are actually quite weighty. So you know that they are like really, really good quality. And this ribbed knit is just stunning. It's so, so soft. What is actually the material of this? Because it is the softest thing I think I've ever seen. It just has luxury sleeveless roll neck. I need to find out the material because I'm in love. It's 100% viscose. Interesting. I thought there'd be some natural fibers in there, but oh my goodness, that means it's going to wash so much better than anything with a natural fiber in it and is still the softest thing in the world. I think I need one of every color now because I have a feeling I'm just going to live in these throughout autumn. And I especially like in spring. I just feel like they're the perfect like transitional piece. I do often find that sometimes like my autumn wardrobe and my spring wardrobe overlap a bit, which I really do like because it means I'm going to get more cost per wear out of the pieces. They're going to be better investments in my wardrobe and i'm going to get more wear out of them so i really love that i just love the like details that holland cooper add to their pieces because they just make them so much more luxurious and so lovely to wear so some gorgeous new and bits to add into my wardrobe now let's get styling these pieces up because i'm so excited to head up to burley today and go and attend the defender horse trials so first up just to show you the beautiful shoes and bag on i cannot tell you how happy i am with the color match of the tan actually i feel like it's maybe even like a little bit deeper than a tan like it's more of like a walnutty color which i really really like because i feel like it makes it so much more autumnal and so much more like winter appropriate and the canvas is just really really beautiful i actually do feel like i could wear this bag in summer as well like depending on how i'm going to style it i feel like if i was wearing like much lighter tones like brighter colors i feel like this could make a really really gorgeous summer handbag as well well but i just love the like holland cooper logo on it i think when i open it up i need to un um like undo the belt and kind of loosen it a little bit i'm not gonna lie i have actually completely taken off that uh keyring i think i'm gonna add it to my keys because i don't think it's really needed on the bag and i think it's so so beautiful it's like a separate piece in itself so i love the fact that they've made it detachable because the amount of handbags i bought where they have like pieces like this which aren't detachable does really annoy me because i love being able to like have the choice of whether i want to keep it on the bag or use it for something else so i think personally i'm gonna attach it to my car keys but loving how the bag looks and the fact that they match the shoes so perfectly is just my favorite thing in the world and i love how these shoes look so as you can see wearing them with a dress and they go really really beautifully they will also work so well with like trousers like cigarette trousers i think would work wide leg trousers would work even leggings would work with these they are just beautiful and i love the fact that it's like just like a very me outfit to wear to burley burley's definitely not like ascot no one's going to be like dressing up massively and wearing like their um 
you know, they're like Sunday best to this. It's a lot more casual and a lot more just kind of like country chic. And I do feel like this is like a very country chic Ellie outfit. So let's add the coat over the top. Oh my goodness. I feel like the addition of the coat just brings the entire outfit in together. I am absolutely in love. It really makes it like super autumnal and just like super seasonal, which I am absolutely obsessed with. I also did not realize that these buttons actually magnetic which literally just changes the game for me because the amount of times I'm like faffing about with buttons and I'm like trying to get them through the buttonhole trying to undo them so I really really love how easy this dress not dress this coat is to slip on and off I love the fact that it has the belt as well so you can cinch it in at the waist if you want something like really cozy yet still super chic but I love the fact that I can just wear it over my shoulders like this I definitely think this is going to be how I'm wearing it today because I don't think it's quite warm enough to like do the coat up and wear it like really fully transitionally like this is just a perfect kind of little throw over my shoulders to keep me nice and warm at the burly horse trials now i'm debating whether to go for my hat i've got my little uh, panama here which is another little holland cooper number and what do we think oh i like it oh my gosh this is just like the perfect little easing into autumn transitional look i was really unsure whether it was going to be too summer but actually I feel like it's pulled the look together even more. Like I love the fact that you've got the black um, ribbon because it really ties in with the black of the dress. As I said, you know I love a matchy matchy moment and I do feel like everything this outfit is just like really matching well together. I feel like Holland Cooper just do the best pieces when it comes to like wardrobe staples, those kind of like foundational pieces that you want to have in your wardrobe ready for a new season because you can style this dress so many different ways, you can style the coat so many different ways. This handbag is going to be very, very well worn and the fact that I'm able to wear like what's normally more of a summer hat with a more autumnal outfit I think is just perfect and these shoes I know I'm going to get my wear out of so this is my outfit for the burly horse trials let me know what you think I am so in love perfume of the day I think I'm gonna go with English pear and freesia because I always say that when you are comfortable you are confident and this perfume I feel like is like my comfort perfume it's such a beautiful everyday scent and I do feel like it's kind of become like my signature scent like a few friends have said to me that when they smell English pear and freesia on someone else they immediately think of me so I think I'm gonna wear this today I'll bring a mini in my handbag as well just for a quick top up spritz before I head into the belly horse trials but perfect perfume for today. I've realized with the bag the way that you kind of like do it is you still have it quite like formal which I quite like actually you could probably undo it and have it like a little bit looser like I'm sure you could take these out and like let them flop a little bit but basically I just loosened it onto um a looser what would you call this a little like buttonhole um, and then it means the bag still keeps its shape but it's still like open enough that you can you know kind of like open it up put everything that you need I've just started filling it I've just got my purse in there for now um, and it does look like it's going to get a little bit brighter so I'm bringing this pair of Ray-Ban sunglasses because I feel like this is a really nice pair that doesn't kind of like I don't know it doesn't get in the way it's just nice when you just have a little bit of sunshine and I do also love the fact that they have this like bronzy golden tone to them because I think it's going to go really really well with my outfit um but yeah loving how the bag looks I do just think it is the perfect piece for autumn winter right super quick little makeup top up before we go I'm not gonna lie it's really weird seeing myself with like a full face of makeup I've even done like a little winged liner look done my hair which I have not done in about two weeks um and put on full face including the NARS lip butter, which does feel a little bit weird. I'm also gonna take this in my um, bag with me because this is just the best thing ever. Mm. Just to give myself like a little spritz of hydration, especially because I do have quite a long drive ahead of me. I feel like it's always really nice just to give yourself a little spritz at the end of your journey or like at the beginning of your journey, just before you have to go, just to kind of give your skin a little bit of a rejuvenated wake up. I've got on the um, Bobbi Brown vitamin enriched skin tint today and I do just love how it looks I kind of forgot just how beautiful this is because I just really didn't reach for it when I was away on holiday I brought it with me to the south of France and because I wasn't really wearing proper makeup I didn't even really reach for it maybe twice the two times we went out for meals in the evening was probably the only two times that I reached for this but it is perfect for today because it's got a little bit of SPF in and on a cloudy day like today I don't want to be applying like full-on SPF I kind of just want to let my skin breathe a little bit but it does have the um the SPF 15 so it still is a perfect amount of coverage and it's the perfect kind of like base for today I don't want to call it a foundation because it's definitely not a foundation but perfect lightweight base for today so that's me ready to go I'm going to go and get in the car I've set myself up a couple 
typical of podcast listen to because as I said I do have a couple of hours drive ahead of me but especially in the rover it's like the most comfortable thing ever so I'm going to stick my podcasts on have a lovely journey and let's head to the Defender Burley Horse Trials together I am so excited so I have just arrived to Burley House now and look at this view my goodness me i've never been to burley house but it is absolutely beautiful kind of reminds me a little bit of highclere if you know that's the um downtown abbey house the real name is highclere which is a lot closer to me down south but i'm just overlooking the river walking over the bridge to head into the main event now really excited to see what it's all about it's quite great today but i'm not gonna lie i'm glad i've got this coat because it's a little bit chilly i feel like it's just the perfect thing to sling over my shoulders and just keep me a little bit warm but yeah i'm gonna head in now so excited to see what it is all about and experience my first ever burly horse trials <laughs> So I have just made it to the Holland Cooper stand and look how cute this looks! You've got a full little seating area, looks like a little cafe and then inside we've got the full collection so I'm going to head in, have a look at some of the gorgeous new pieces. classic cable knits. They have literally every single colour. We've got gorgeous camel, black, navy blue, oh the roll necks as well. Absolutely love these because you can like fold these down loads. They're like really comfy to wear. Oh my goodness I've not seen this. It's got a little HC. Oh that is gorgeous. Oh my goodness I saw these capes drop online recently and oh oh my goodness pulling it off but how gorgeous are these you know I love my cape and it has this amazing like faux fur collar this is just absolutely stunning I'm also obsessed with kind of like houndstooth design we've got a houndstooth another one this one's like more of a check oh so gorgeous My goodness, the rose oud candle. How beautiful is this packaging? And I can't even tell you how amazing it smells. Okay, I am obsessed with the styling of this coat. So it's actually a navy blue is the other version that they do of the Grayson Trench. And it's absolutely beautiful. But look at the way that they have tied the scarves. Oh my word, I'm absolutely obsessed. But they do have my version of the Grayson here at the Holland Cooper stand at Burley. So much inspo from the way that they have it designed the twillies on the bags we've got this really gorgeous way with like a big bow but they've also done a gorgeous little handle cover which i'm absolutely loved with this is like a croc version of my bag how gorgeous is this the black croc leather my goodness me the classic holland cooper belts oh love it <laughs> Yeah, they, they really are. So it's your first, the 
I'm not sure if you would have actually been able to see or hear any of that, but I've just done a little interview with Holland Cooper just to chat through my outfit and what I'm wearing today because it really is the epitome of like a transitional outfit and it's really interesting to see how many people are going like full summer, how many people are going full autumn. I feel like it's such a difficult time of year to dress. Um, but I've just been chatting through my outfit with the Holland Cooper team. It was so fun. And as you can see behind me, the sun is now coming out, which is just perfect timing because we're going to go and watch some of the dressage now. We're going to have a few more drinks. It's just been the loveliest day. Like the sunshine that is streaming through. I mean, look at that dappled light. Oh, it is just magical. It really does feel like the beginning of autumn where it's like a little bit crisp in the air, still quite warm, still a little bit sunny and just having the loveliest, loveliest day. It is the next day now. I am back home after the most wonderful time at the Burley Horse Trials with Holland Cooper. It honestly was just the best day. I hope I got enough footage. Sometimes when I'm having a good time, I'm not the best at getting the camera out, but hopefully I was able to show you all of the new and pieces that they had there. The stand was like one of the biggest stands that they had at Burley. They had pretty much the entirety of the collection there, like all of the new and pieces as well as some of the like old classics, some of their older favorites and we just had the best day as I mentioned it was my first time attending Burley and it felt like such an honor I was so humbled to have been attending with one of my favorite brands I do feel like myself and Holland Cooper we just align with so many things like our fashion our style our ethos like I just absolutely adore them as a brand so I have to have been invited with a brand that I have loved for so long I've been a fan of for so long I adore wearing adore styling honestly it was just a pinch me moment and it was one of those days where I'm like how is this my job how is this real life and it really was just the best day it was so amazing to see all of the collection that they had there and we basically spent the rest of the day just chatting drinking watching the gorgeous um what's it called dressage I can't remember the name then the dressage they have a couple of different um events on at Burley I didn't realize that like each day is like a different kind of like theme so my day was like dressage day I think today is more about the kind of like more competition so like jumps and things like that it's a little bit more competitive today and then I've I believe it also goes on until Sunday um but I might be wrong um but I definitely think I'm going to be making sure that I can attend next year as well I've been really loving all of the events I've been attending this year I feel like you've probably noticed how much more I've been going to particularly this summer just loads of like countryside events I've been loving being able to kind of like spread my net a bit wider I feel like for me this is like the first year post COVID that everything has been like fully fully back to normal and my calendar has never been so full I have never been so busy, but I have been absolutely loving it. So yeah, I had the best day yesterday with Holland Cooper and it was so lovely to meet the girls as well. Had a little chat with Jade, who was just an absolute angel and the Holland Cooper PRs. 
oh my goodness, they have my heart. They are such lovely girls. You know when like instantly you just click, you just get on so well and we could not stop talking all afternoon. So I basically just spent the rest of the afternoon drinking, chatting and enjoying the dressage. So it was a very, very lovely day, but it does feel good to be home and to have a bit of a chilled weekend. I've got my um little brochures here from the event though which was really cute I had a little lanyard which I loved you would have seen I did like a little interview for them as well which was really really cute just chatting through my outfit because everyone was wearing very different outfits and it was quite nice to kind of like chat through my transitional looks I do feel like I basically did like a marriment of like autumn style and summer style and brought them together into one look because this time of year can be so so tricky to style I've actually been looking at the weather forecast for the week ahead and it's going to be quite warm this week so I do feel like even though a lot of people are like excited about autumn um, it really is the epitome of that like transitional period where one day you wake up and it's like 20 degrees one day you wake up and it's 27 degrees and particularly in like the mornings and the evenings that's when you really start to feel like the coolness whereas in the middle of the day it can get quite warm so I feel like transitional styling is like the best um way to explain it but I thought I'd have a little look through because I didn't actually have a proper look through um the brochures but they've got like some gorgeous imagery of some of the new in pieces I'm just so obsessed with this like tweed jacket there's so many things I'm adding to my wish list I literally said to the girls I was like this is dangerous because there are so many pieces that I want to add into my collection for autumn winter um but I've also been invited to go to the Cheltenham boutique which would be really really lovely to see because that's where their kind of like flagship store is um, and then I also got a little souvenir program so I think this tells you a bit more about um the timetable the other kind of like things that are going on as I mentioned it was sponsored by defender so there were so many defenders that i was taking so many photos to send to alex like this one's nice this one's nice you'll like this one um and i think it also oh, it gives you a little bit of history one event many highlights oh my gosh that's so cool it gives you like a full-on history of burley in 1971 a royal flush a 21 year old princess anne put the sport on the map and led a british whitewash winning the european championships this year on her mother the queen's homebred double she was voted bbc sports personality of the year another eventing first that's amazing oh my goodness i'm gonna have like a proper read through this there's also so much um about like some of the other brands that were there there was also a big page on Holland Cooper which is really really exciting and just like a little map of the event and I could not believe how huge it was like I was not expecting Burley to be as big as it was there were so many different stands I feel like I didn't even get to experience like the full kind of grandeur of the event because I just spent 99% of my time at the Holland Cooper stand um but there were so many different brands so many different things that you could go and explore so it really was a lovely lovely day so would definitely recommend adding it to your events calendar for next year because it was so much fun. One thing that I want to do with my coat that I saw someone doing yesterday at um, the Burley Horse Trials was it was really clever because she also had her trench coat over her shoulders like me. I think a lot of people were doing that because it did get quite warm by the afternoon. The sun came out and it was like beautiful, warm, end of summer, early autumn weather. Um, and what she'd done is basically using this, I think I need to kind of like take it out of this belt loop, but she tied the belt at the back of the coat so it kind of cinched in the waist and made it look a little bit less like like a cape and more like a tailored coat so i kind of want to give it a try i know i showed you the coat in so much detail yesterday but i didn't even get to show you this i don't know if you can see it now but there's like a little Holland Cooper logo at the back. Honestly, it's so gorgeous. There were so many people in this coat. As I was doing my interview, I was getting asked about like, what is the most kind of like worn piece that you've seen today? And I was like, can I say the coat that I'm wearing? Because genuinely, there are so many gorgeous ladies wearing this coat and they are all styling it so beautifully. Like so many people are styling it really differently as well. But I believe that with regards to tying it, she basically just did this and kind of cinched it in at the back. And then it means that when you put it on, it still holds its shape. Look at the pop of detail. I just love the fact that they are magnetic. It's the coolest thing ever. Um, but yeah, and then it just meant that she could wear it, but it didn't look as kind of like bulky on her and as like cape-like. It was a bit more, a bit more flattering. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that. Mm, I think I might have done it a little bit too tight, but actually... That's genius because that's kind of keeping the coat on my shoulders a little bit more as well. I so should have done that for yesterday. Oh my goodness me. That is absolutely amazing. Let me see if I can show you in the mirror a little bit better. But as you can see, it's kind of like a little bit tighter on my shoulders. It feels like it's staying a lot better. And then at the back, it's like cinched in beautifully. Oh my goodness game changer. Absolute game changer. I can't remember who it was. I didn't actually meet the girl that had um 
done her coat that way, but I am taking that styling advice from her because that has just changed the game. I also loved seeing how Holland Coop had like styled up the pieces on the mannequins. I know I showed you like the scarves and stuff that they were wearing and all of the different like styling techniques because I do feel like, that, especially on TikTok, there's a big trend right now. And it's called like wearing your clothes versus styling your clothes. And it's amazing the difference it makes. It just like wearing like, let's say like a dress like this versus styling it up with like your shoes, cinching in the waist, adding a necklace, adding a belt. Like it's absolutely amazing. And I do feel like this is the epitome of like wearing the coat versus styling the coat. So a little styling technique that I learned at Burley yesterday. That I'm going to take with me through the rest of autumn. I can't remember if I mentioned before, but it is Saturday morning today and we've woken up to very autumnal weather, very autumnal skies in particular. Just very grey, a little bit blusterous. I'm hoping we might get a little bit of sunshine later, but I might get out into the garden this afternoon because you can probably see from the wisteria. There is a lot that needs maintenance outside in at the garden. That's the thing, whenever you go away, I always feel like you come back and there's always been so many changes and so many things that you need to like update and upgrade. Like my herb pots over there there's always one that is just not loving life my chives are doing great my rosemary's doing great the basil's always doing great but this time it is the coriander was it coriander that i got no parsley the parsley that is just not loving life also alex's chili plant really seems to be taking a root now as you can see there is a lot and the uh, yeah parsley is deady dead dead um but his chili plant seems to be doing really really well he's so proud of it he literally every single day comes and checks on it waters it so hopefully one day we will get chilies um and the peppers outside of my herb truck not herb truck veg truck they're all going orange i'm really really glad that i left them for whilst we were away because they seem to all start to be going orange which will be really interesting to see if they taste any different because I found this out actually maybe about a year ago that green, yellow, red and orange peppers are actually all the same pepper. Like they're not a different breed. They're not like a different kind of like sub variety of pepper. It's just how long you leave them on the stem and how long you let them grow for. So I don't think they're going to be getting any bigger. I definitely think like that's about the biggest that they will get. Um, but I want to see if I can get some to like a fully red colour. I think that would be so, so cool. I would love to plant some more veg in my truck as well, but I feel like I'm getting ahead of myself. I actually came downstairs because I feel like it's officially time to get out the autumn candles and to do a little bit of a switch up because especially when the weather gets like this, I just want to light candles, get cosy and get out like my favourite scents and I've got covered here with all of my favourite candles in. Right, I've got out a lot of candles that I can start choosing between and switching up and seeing what I want to get out. Now, these are the two that I had in my office before and I think I'm finally ready to light them. I literally did not light them in my office. This is San Juan. Oh, this smells absolutely incredible. It's just like a very fresh scent. Um, it's really nice as well because I have the soap and the hand cream from this. So it kind of just reminds me of that. It just smells very clean to me, I think, because I have that association with the soap. I just love the packaging. I definitely think I could reuse this jar afterwards as well. I do sometimes find with like the um, the glass ones, they're not as reusable. So I don't tend to reach for them to, if I'm like reusing glasses. Um, whereas this, I definitely think I can reuse. So I think it might be time to like that also base. Oh, such a gorgeous scent. This is just like, again, a very fresh scent. It's really, really lovely. I feel like this is quite a nice, actually, I might save this one. This to me feels a little bit more springy, I think, because it's so fresh. I feel like I might save this one for next year. I can put that back in the cupboard. I definitely need to finish this one off. As you can see, I've been lighting it a lot. This is the gorgeous Molten Brown Coastal Cypress and Sea Fennel. And this is definitely my favorite Molten Brown scent. I absolutely adore this. When we went to stay in Tiny, they actually had this scent in all of their um, products and like their hand wash. They had like the body, um, body lotion, everything like that. And I was just in love. Oh, it's such a gorgeous one. I definitely think I want to finish this off before summer finishes because it's very, it is quite summery, but it's quite like end of summer. I feel like it's a really, really nice one. If you like Joe Malone's um, Wood Sage and Sea Salt, you will love this because it's just such a beautiful one. I feel like especially because I live down kind of like on the coast, it's really, really just like fitting for being in the New Forest. Um, our fresh grapefruit, I've been lighting a fair amount recently. It's a really, really lovely one. Oh, again, very fresh, just like very, it's not actually as fruity as I was expecting it to be, um, but that's like a really lovely one. I feel like that's not too seasonal, so that's quite a nice one that I can light. 
These two Woodwick ones, I'm not entirely sure if they are quite right for now. I got these both from Alex for Christmas last year. This one is beautiful. Spiced Blackberry. It is a very, very Christmassy one. So I definitely think I'll save this one for like maybe end of October, November. Whereas this one I feel like is a little bit fresher. I didn't actually like this one last year. Oh, yeah, that's actually really fresh. That's really lovely. This is white tea and jasmine. Um, and these ones are slightly different because they have a wick that basically mimics the sound of like a fire being lit so if you're like me you don't have like a fire in your house you don't have anywhere that you can um you know kind of simulate that like fire experience this is a really really lovely way of doing it so if you want like a cozy night in this is amazing it almost sounds a little bit like rain sometimes when i've lit these alex is like is it raining outside i'm like no no it's the woodwick candles so we both love those um i need to finish this one off as well you can tell which ones i've been kind of like lighting and loving this is oriental velvet vetiver i think you pronounce it and this one it's not really seasonal at all. It's just like a really, really lovely oriental scent is the best way to describe it. It's from Rituals and it's a really, really lovely one. So I definitely think these two are ones that I need to prioritize and just kind of finish off before I move on to anything else. And then my Jo Malone's, which again, I don't feel like are the most seasonal. Lime basil and mandarin. It's very fresh, a really, really lovely kind of summery scent. I've been lighting that a lot. Um, and then Peony and Blush Suede is another absolute favorite. I feel like these two are perfect candles to light when you've like got guests around because they're just such lovely scents they fill the room but they're not too kind of like seasonal they're not too i don't know like tailored within their sense they're just really really lovely so nice to have gotten these all out know what i've got know what i want to be adding in i've got a few other candles upstairs as well but these are my ones downstairs i think i might like this today because i just think it's a really really lovely scent especially for just like a weekend at home i think that's perfect well i do apologize for my lack of vlogging today i feel like today has just been the epitome of just like a cozy autumnal saturday i have basically just been prioritizing like unpacking and washing because i was straight out to burley yesterday i hadn't even unpacked my suitcase all i'd done is get gotten out of my hat from my case the rest of it was kind of in disarray um so managed to do three loads of washing which i'm really really happy about just to kind of like get organized get all of the um like holiday clothes nice and clean i always feel like there's nothing more satisfying than the post holiday wash that you do so i do feel like i'm finally kind of like finally what's the word like calming down like easing after the south of france trip because i've just been go 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 recently is that the sun coming out this evening my goodness me we are, might end up having a little bit of a sunset this evening but as always whenever i come back from a trip i always have some pr bits to unbox with you and i feel like it's almost always pixie they're always so generous with what they sent me and it's always really really lovely to try out the new pieces you know how much i adore pixie products like i was using so many pixie things whilst i was away on holiday the um tinted bronzers literally saved me like whenever i just need a little top up quick little flush of that they also do them in a blush as well which i think is really really lovely but i thought we could unbox this together and i just had a little sneaky peek of what this is my goodness me this looks like it's going to be all about calming and winding and i feel like that is just what i need this evening oh my gosh this is so so cute so let me read out the little note from petra herself so the day my sisters and I opened our Pixie Boutique in London in 1999, our window said, I just want to look like I've had a good night's sleep. I love that. I create products that ensure awakening results to promote your most healthy and replenished skin, a focus that has remained since creating Pixie over 23 years ago. I wanted to share with you a, dream, a dreamy evening self-care routine. These replenishing and calming favourites are my essentials that treat you whilst you sleep. Love. Petra. Oh my goodness, this is so, so exciting. You guys will probably know that the Pixie Eye Patches are my absolute favourites. I have two from them. I've got one which is like very much awakening. It's got caffeine in it. And then I've got one that is a little bit more calming. And this sounds amazing. This is the Dream Eye Patches. And this is a replenishing PM patch. Which actually, I was literally thinking to myself that that is when I need them most. Because sometimes I forget in the mornings. And sometimes I'm not as like on it when I'm waking up. And I just want to kind of like crack on with my skincare. And like get on with the day. Get my makeup on and stuff like that. I don't want to like sit with an eye patch on for hours on end. Whereas in the evening... I much prefer doing my skincare in the evening and doing like a full pamper and relax. So I'm really, really excited. And if you have never opened these, I'm going to open this now because I, I think I'm going to give myself a pamper tonight. I think I need it. I know I've obviously been away 
I mean, the south of France was not exactly a grueling trip, but it was just so busy. And I feel like I wasn't really like fully looking after my skin, looking after my body. And then obviously traveling straight back, going straight to Burley. I do feel like I'm really, really in need of a pamper. Um, so basically it's got this little plastic seal and then underneath it has the eye patches and it gives you this little spatula. So you can literally just like peel them out really hygienically. You don't have to like get your fingers all over them and then just pop them on your eyes. And they are just my favorite, favorite things. Um, so that is really, really exciting. I definitely think I'm going to give that a try tonight. They've also sent a little dreamy sleep mask, which is vegan silk. It's, oh my goodness. It has my name on it. That is so cute. Ellie is getting ready to glow. I don't know if you can see that there, but that is absolutely adorable. I'm also in love with the color, this kind of like pistachio green with the purple, I think is so, so lovely. Oh, Pixie, this is so kind. Oh my goodness. And then lastly, which I'm actually really excited about because my current pillow mist, I feel like the sun's gone back in again. I'm sorry if the lighting keeps changing. But my current pillow mist is actually just about to run out. I've been using the Jo Malone one. It was a limited edition one that they did maybe like a year ago, maybe even two years ago. I feel like I've had it for a really, really long time. Um, but I'm about to run out of that. And I was literally thinking to myself the other day, oh, I need to find myself a new pillow mist. And this has come at the perfect, perfect time. So the Dreamy Mist, Jasmine and Lavender overnight mist it says deep sleep enhancing elixirs packed full of natural aromas well known for their relaxing qualities infused with humicants antioxidants for maximum restorative benefits oh it is a facial mist it mist onto face to hydrate and preserve skin oh this sounds absolutely amazing i'm really really excited to give that a try tonight i think i might run myself a bath you know i think i'm gonna have a full-on relaxing pamper evening we might get a takeaway we're gonna stick on film it's just the perfect Saturday evening for me. So I think I'm gonna leave this vlog here because I know the second that that bath water is finished running, the bubbles are bubbling and I've got myself in, that's gonna be me gone. Oh, yes, that is exactly my plan. I also have lots of vlogs that I need to catch up on because I was away at the end of August. I feel like I've missed all of like the last of Zoe's vlogist and that Christmas day she does with Mark the perfect way to spend like a really cozy autumnal saturday so i hope you guys enjoyed the vlog i hope you enjoyed it coming to burley with me yesterday and i will link all of the new holland cooper pieces down below definitely go and check out the new collection because it's just absolutely gorgeous but i hope you guys have a lovely evening and i'll see you in my next one